everyone. I am back for my haul video. <clears throat> Again, if you haven't didn't see my previous one, um, kind of battling some sort of allergies or sickness or something, so my throat's kind of itchy. Sorry for for my throat clearing throughout and my sips of coffee and water. But um, here it goes. I at the beginning of the year, I know I did sign up for the. Um, stash, de-stash, or whatever it was called, clearly, don't even remember. So clearly I didn't stick to it. Um, my husband is deployed right now, and I think a coping mechanism, or the fact that he's not here for me to spoil with any extra money we do have, my coping mechanism, or that, whatever, is to buy stash. I was off the stash on load page for a while, and then I got back on it. <laughs> and uh, definitely spent some money on there and I don't know why but the Facebook app on my phone right now the actual app you can't look at the um, albums through the app you the only way you can see pictures is if you scroll down like the news news feed but like the feed <coughs> of the um, stash on load page so that kind of helps because yeah, it's more of a pain in the butt to get around to looking at all the pictures but anyway, I think the last time I posted a um, video was, I, I want to say it was the end of February, or February, or the beginning of March, I don't remember. But I know I've gotten a lot since then. Um, one thing, I'll kind of try my hardest to go in chronological order, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to last long. Anyway. <laughs> this is how far back we're going. These are maybe oh, you can actually see them. Chromatic alchemy. Pause for loud noises. Actually, I will pause instead of just telling you to pause. It smells so good. There you go, Sam. That's for you. Your fabric smells amazing. Anyway. This is showing off amazingly. I don't know what I did to my camera, but it's working. But this is um, 18 Count Ada. And this is her Elsa. I mean, it's it's going to be lighter and, and more pretty in person, but I'm just real surprised because last time I tried to show this, it showed it like white. It didn't show any of the coloring on it. But it's just, it's stinking gorgeous. And she had a sale, get this, this is how long it's been, um, for Valentine's Day. And if any of her fabrics had pinks or purples in it, you got a sale. Well, I can't pass up a chromatic alchemy sale, so, boom! I got some Elsa. Not only one, but two! <coughs> they're 18 by 21. I will find something to use them for. If not, they're just stinking gorgeous that I had to have them. I'm had a coffee. <laughs> So, I'm not going to bother by putting those in. Now, though, exciting news, she actually has a website. I believe it's just chromaticalchemy.com. I will put, I will try to remember to put the address in the uh, description. Tracy, if you're watching this and I don't put it in there, tell me. Anyway, let's see. What did I do since then? Alright, the um, chronological order is things just out the door. We'll start smallest to biggest. Um, <clears throat> I'll throw this in there too. I went to Walmart, and usually I don't find anything good at Walmart. But, <coughs> I'm out here in Texas, and they have a whole different kind of deal. I don't know. The way they do things is different, of course. But, I found this guy. Uh, Max's Moon, which I've been wanting for a while. Sorry, I'm not itchy. It must be the allergies. But it's the kit, tons of thread. I honestly don't see how I will use all of that, especially the greens. Because there's like the leaves, and then there's like a tree right here. But other than that, there's not really any green. But I just love the. The moon outline and the little kitty trying to sniff the leaf or see what it is. It's just so pretty. Anyway, had to have it. 
Ooh, I do like that. I don't know if it's just all the Busila or Bukila or however you pronounce the name. But it says that the needle is made in China and all other components are made in the U.S. Woohoo! That's awesome. Now if only we could get our own needles in there. <laughs> At the same time, I did find these guys. Some dimensions kits. They're cute. They're small. Bright colors. I love Black Ada. So I had to pick them up. I mean, they're 25% off. This was $1.11. This was $1.48. My mother-in-law calls it Aida, I think. It's entertaining listening to how people pronounce things. In different parts of the world, in different parts of, heck, the country, we pronounce things differently. It's very entertaining, especially being from the West Coast and coming here and hearing people call carts baskets and or buggies <laughs> or... Instead of you want a like grocery bag, it's a sack. It's just it's 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 cool. It's just like part of the culture. I love it. What are some? Here's a question. If you're wanting to reply, uh, what are some things you've heard in different parts of the world or parts of the country called different things? Not just what you call it slang, like you and your family, but like kind of a community thing. What do you call something specific? I know. Like, in Canada, um, Skittles, is it Skittles? Are, like, our M&M's. No, Smarties are, like, our M&M's. I can't remember the other ones, but they're real funny. Anyway, back to my stash that I clearly don't need. I got these, I believe. I don't remember where I got them from, but cool thing is that I didn't know that I, um, woo, that was bad, bad me, is that they have the, um, bead, shame on me, sorry, but if you by chance have the, um, plant a tree, no, I have plant a tree, ha <laughs> ha, try that again. If you have the save water or keep our air clean, I need those. I have the rest, but I need those. Originals, please, no copies. And if you have <laughs> the um, bead, whatever, the little flower thing, that'd be even better. But yes, I got those. I'm definitely going to put them all together in the whole get up. But these are Lizzie Kate's um, green series. And then, I'll just show you all my Lizzie Cates first. I got this one. Lizzie Cates ABC Crazy. AB Crazy. Whatever. But I like just the ideas of, I mean, USA, Emma, Noel, Jake, P. Anyway, a good friend of mine, Naomi, is pregnant with her first baby. She's halfway through term, and all they know is they're naming their daughter or son um, with the letter E. So it's baby E. And I thought it'd be cool to do either just an E or their last name or something, but it has in here, what you can see, <laughs> they have um, each letter. It's a whole thing. So oh, I just, I like the idea of nameplates, if you will. <coughs> so there's that. And then, um, my other one is Lizzie Kate's Official Snow Guide. It's really cute. But I will say this, copy me if you want. Coming from a place where there is snow, believe it or not, Northern Nevada does have quite a bit of snow. They are in a drought right now, but they do, when it does snow, it snows. Um, it snows pretty good. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to literally flip the entire thing upside down. The bottom is going to say snow guide, or official snow guide, and then it's going to say the um, two feet snowball fight, four feet build a snowman, six feet buy shovel, um, not feet, inches. Psh. It should be feet, sorry. I'm probably going to do feet too. Um, eight, cancel school because yeah, if, if you have two feet of snow, 
snowball fight, cool. You're gonna have to get a shovel too eventually, but you can get by without it. Yeah, in Nevada, northern Nevada, it, you had to at least have like four feet of snow if you were hoping to have school even be delayed by an hour. So these whole eight inches cancel school, I don't know where this comes from, whether it be Kansas, because that's where Lizzie Kate comes from, or the company is at, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, clearly it doesn't snow that much. Anywho, off my little soapbox. Um, that's all for my Lizzie Cates that I got. <clears throat> my first uh, hands-on design I got is the Let It Snow. The Year in Chalk. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to afford to get all of them. As far as the the um, the months, this is January's first one, not first January's for January's one. And they, I mean, they're cute. They have um, this uh, <coughs> this gun metal is the uh, fabric by Weeks Dye Works, and then uh, the Gentle Arts sampler threads is the white. And then um, each month has a different um, accent color. And so, I mean, I really like them, <coughs> but I don't know if I can see myself spending the money on them. So I might just do one at a time and use them for ornaments, because let it snow, clearly Christmassy. Anywho, the other hands-on design that I got afterwards is um, under a quilt. One who sleeps under a quilt is comforted by love. Like I said, my mother-in-law quilts, or I didn't say that. I said that she has sewing machines, but yes, my mother-in-law quilts, and I just I thought it was cute. She saw saw it and she liked it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make that for her. But I'm getting into quilting too. I'll get into that in one minute. The next things I got, the things I bought, let's see, oh, I'll go with this one. Um, my friend in Nevada, she's, um, I can't remember her name that she goes by on all the selling sites, but she said that she had this, it was up on one of the sale pages, and of course, my husband's Air Force, I wanted it. Sorry, puppy was moving around below me. And, um, and then she said she went to find it and she couldn't find it. And as soon as she found, or if she found it, she would let me know. If not, she was sorry. But she ended up finding it, so here it is. One thing you do have to be aware of when you buy these, and it says right on it, charms are subject to change based upon availability. So one of the things on here... Um, I believe it didn't have the flag. That's what it didn't have, which I'm kind of annoyed. I'm going to find a flag. So if you have one of these, like a flag that looks like this, let me know. I want it because it's military for the United States. I want a flag. But it has this little, for a placement, got this little helicopter dude. And the top actually spins around. So it's cool, but... It's not going to be real easy to lay flat under a frame. And like I said, I want a flag. <clears throat> the next things I bought were Little House Needleworks. This is part of the um, Hometown Holiday series. It's a firehouse with a cute little dog. I might see if I can find a button for the dog because looking at the actual pattern, you pretty much only <laughs> do a French knot for his nose. And, um, it doesn't really show his eyes. Kind of looks like a reindeer or a giraffe. Miniature giraffe, one of the two. And then, um, Season's Greetings. This is the one I was saying I might do for my mother-in-law for Christmas. Because, <coughs> um, I'm sorry again for all my coughing. Out here in Texas, there are tons of cardinals and hummingbirds. So I figured... Because she loves um, cardinals, 
that I would do that for her. Um, but yeah, I seriously, I always thought hummingbirds were like, like that big, maybe including wingspan, everything. But some of them, some of those suckers, like wingspan is like, how big is that? Sorry, there's a little right here. Like probably a good four inches wingspan. And I thought they were maybe like two. I thought they were so small, unless you were looking for them, you couldn't see them. But they're big. And there are bird or um, hummingbird feeders. I think there's four of them around the house. There's one little guy up front with a red chest. And he keeps flying around or like sitting on the metal part. And he's like, this is mine. You can't have it. But there was one and it had this beautiful like dark, deep turquoise chest. It was beautiful. I wish I would have gotten a picture of it. But that hummingbird was very pretty. Anyway. The other... Um, patterns I got were <laughs> Country Cottage Needleworks Let Us Adore Him I definitely know that when I'm going to do this the lettering I'm going to be doing it in a definitely a darker or darker and less uh, variegated 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 um, color pattern I like that one. My mother-in-law really liked that one, too. And I got the By the Chimney. I need to get the uh, Just Another Button Company's button for this. So if you have a spare one, the fireplace, it's like a holly leaf type thing. Let me know. I need it. Um, for the Santa's Village, I got Santa's House. I have someone who, as they're doing them, they are going to be selling them to me. Totally appreciate that. But I will do those eventually as I go. And then this one I really like, but again, I'm going to have to use more bold colors because it's just real light. Bless our home. But I like the doggy and the flag, of course. But I just... I think this is one that I will actually use the custom frame, like, because it always, they always, this company I know and Little House Needleworks, they say who frames their stuff, which is cool, because if you really like it, you can get it done by them, but uh, I, I really think I'm going to do the frame for this, because I like the frame. And then the only other pattern I got this, or it's a kit, but the lady had this up, and it, it just was, it was a steal. It was like, I have to have it. I think she had it up for like $8 with shipping included in the $8. And I know the book that has these is like 30 But I got the kit for this guy. Uh, Woodland Friends. Hasn't been opened. I still have not decided <coughs> if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to sell it. Because, I'm sorry. Because my mother-in-law has the, um, the book, the, of course it's not going to be right there when I turn around where it was, but the, the book with all the stockings. Anyway, this is one that's in there, and then the Santa fishing is the other one that I want to do for my husband, but this is also made in the U.S. Pay attention to that, people. Pay attention to where your money goes and where it comes from. <laughs> Although, as you can see, I'm someone who buys fabric and threads from overseas in Australia and London and in Europe and stuff, but those are for actual people, not large corporations. It really does matter where you put your money, like today, I'm standing on a soapbox, sorry y'all, I'm passionate about it, so I'm going to talk about it, but I went to Walmart, because that's the only big thing around here, being in a small town, it's big enough to have a Walmart, but, um, we needed sugar for coffee, and the Walmart brand was like two thirty nine, probably. And the big bag, or same size bag next to it, was, it's the Imperial, 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 it's like tan, anyway. I want to say it's Imperial, Imperial sugar, is made in Texas, and it was five something, but you know what? I'm keeping it in the States. Like, not only the U.S., but I'm keeping it in Texas. So, if you can spend a little extra, it will pay off. 
with keeping jobs in the states and supporting our economy. So pay attention to where your stuff comes from. Um, I am going to take a pause and get more coffee because the warmth helps my throat before I continue with um, the quilting side of my stash. So be right back. Alright y'all, I'm back, um, which is irrelevant because for you, time didn't even stop. <laughs> Anywho, I also got, forgot to show, um, Belfast 32 count natural white for the, um, I don't remember if it was CCN or LHN, uh, the two snowmen, with the ornament with this, how that pattern too, clearly. I have too many patterns because I didn't find it to show you, but I have it. Anyway, had to have some of that. Thank you, Tracy, for that. <clears throat> so my next part of my stash, um, like I said, my mother-in-law is a uh, quilter. She has four sewing machines, although one is an embroidery technically machine. I don't get the difference, but she said it. And then she also has a serger. And then all of this. Let me see if I can turn the camera. Sorry, that was my thumb. Is her, um, some of her fabric stash. And those are some projects she has going. And some quilting books and buttons and lots of, pardon me. I'm going to have the hiccups now. Lovely. Um, <laughs> lots of stuff. But in wanting to reach my goal, if you will, of actually finishing, turning my UFOs into true finishes, I wanted <clears throat> to learn to quilt or use a sewing machine so I could change, I could stitch um, fabric around pieces to make ornaments or make it into pillows or um, pin cushions. Sorry for that. Forgot what they were called. <laughs> um, I guess some someone else made this, but it's really cool. It's got sand in it. But yeah, I asked if she could help me, and I uh, I'm working on. Sorry, she has a design wall right there, and I wonder if I can show it on my other camera. No, it's not gonna let me flip it. Maybe. No. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to flip it around so you can see it. It's spinning. I don't know if you can see on that wall. That's the quilt that I'm going to do. But yeah, this is, this is her room. Oh, ah. no. So, um, I don't know if you guys quit. Quilt, not quit. But, um, that's made by what's called Jelly Rolls. They're two and a half inch strips by God knows how long. I don't remember. I think 42 inches. <coughs> and sometimes they come, like, rolled up in a Jelly Roll. But those were pieces left over from a project she did. And I didn't want to spend money on one of my first projects, so I just did that. And then I did pick the border fabric, the brown. And I'm waiting for her to get home. Um, she comes home tomorrow evening, I think. And then put the backing on it. I bought the fabric already for... Ooh, let me grab it, actually. Pause! So this is the um, fabric. Yeah, it's about right. That I'm going to be doing for the back of that. But they had, like, they have a quilter's guild out here. And they had a meeting and a garage sale in the meeting, <clears throat> and, um... Really hot coffee! Yes, I put ice in it, but it's still crazy hot. Someone was selling this, um, six and a half yards by 45 inches wide for $18, so I needed something, and I liked the swirls, it wasn't just plain. So, <clears throat> I snagged it up. Tons of fabric. Oh. <laughs> And, um, there goes my voice. And this is that, um, that brown that's on the border. 
It's got some texture to it, but not complete. Oh my gosh. Maybe that'll help actually get the warmth to my throat. <coughs> so my mother-in-law got me this book. First time quilting. They have one for um, knitting and crocheting and I think first time clothes making or just first time sewing in general. They are very, very descriptive, I will tell you that. Um, she got it at Hobby Lobby. It retails for $19.99. Um, but you can use your coupon on it there for the 30, 40, half off, whatever you can find. But it's stinking awesome. Like, it pretty much dummy proofs it. <laughs> like, if you think they can go over something, <clears throat> or you're afraid that they won't go over something, they will. Like, <coughs> all the different types of feet. Presser feet. Sorry. And you do not iron, you press. All these things I'm learning. Anyway. So, I'm learning to quilt. Real excited, but I have decided until we get, my husband and I get our debt where we want it to be, I'm not going to go crazy with quilting because fabric is quite expensive, and um, I'd prefer <clears throat> keeping my cross-stitching habit rather than not. <coughs> oh my gosh. Tracy, doing these videos for you. Pause. <laughs> Alright. I forgot I had this, too. Thank you guys for me that. I heart my skipper key. My puppy is half uh, cocker spaniel, half skipper key. So, I got that for her. Or for my car. In honor of her. Whatever. Oh, no way. So. At first, <clears throat> while I was here, I started getting fabric to finish my pieces, my cross stitching pieces. Oh my gosh. Instead of cutting this one place, actually ripped the fabric. Instead of cutting it, drove it just like makes me cringe. But after looking for a long time, I found this green. It's not as, not as Kelly green, or it is more Kelly green, I'm sorry, than it's showing, but it's still really pretty. So this matches the fabric that was on a different video that didn't upload, so hold on. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is Heather not going crazy with fabric. These are fat quarters, which are, I'll break this, these are fat quarters, and if I'm understanding this correctly, which I'm totally gonna screw it up, I think it's like 18 by 26 these pieces are. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I don't know. But anyway, these are all I got from one place. Um, got a pink. Pretty true to color. I like the swirls. And then... <clears throat> I love gingham. That's pretty true. It's a little bit more pink than that, but that's pretty true. And then this is, ah, this is a red that goes with the green. So I originally saw this red and I was like, oh, that'd be cool to finish for Christmassy stuff. So perfect colors, Christmas. Love it. Now to figure what to do with it. That's the hard part. When you find something you really like, you tend not to want to use it because then you don't have it anymore. Do I have like a <clears throat> black? Let's see if I can put it on this green or green. Hello, this is brown. Let's see if it makes the colors show up a little better. <coughs> it's a bright green, lime green for my husband. Ooh, look what it does to that camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That one isn't quite a fat quarter, but I had to get it because it was lime green. Another green. It's a lot lighter than that. 
just like the texture. I really like this. It's like a it almost looks like it's the same as the gr the brown tone. Green, of course, another good um, Christmas finishing color. This is that Robin's Eggy color, <clears throat> Tracy. That uh, that I cannot count a day complete unless needle and thread unless they needle and thread meet or whatever you were talking about with this color with the white on it. That's kind of what this color is. Anyway, beautiful like Robin's Egg gingham. I love gingham. Love it. It's pretty. <laughs> kind of a matching color, but with blue. That's gray. That's not brown. That's gray and then white. Then this matches the pink. Light tones in it. This one was on sale, but this is kind of like a country medium blue, grayish blue. Pretty true to color. Gingham again. Had to have it. <clears throat> this is a gorgeous blue. Ooh, that's coming up. Really true. Eh, it might be a smidge darker in person. Sorry, my nose which is really bad. <laughs> this is me uncut when I'm on this. So, you get me? <laughs> All that I am. Oh, that's pretty. Gorgeous, darling. I love blues and I love greens. Polka dot. To go with the lime green. But it's just pretty. I like little re repetition patterns in things. I have learned that. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> is not black. It's really, really dark blue. Now, if, if the designer failed and didn't put enough ink in it or whatever, I'm sorry, this is blue. Blue. Black. It's blue. <laughs> so, yes. Skipping, I'm making a leaning tower of fabric over here. This goes with that uh, Robin's Eggy color. Same fabric, or same pattern. And then gray. So that was all, <clears throat> I think it was from two different places. There's a place around here. Quilting is huge out here in Texas, I will say that. <clears throat> so, there's a place out here that um, the first Tuesday of the month you can get seven fat quarters for $10 or something. Amazing deal. I totally went in on that. And then, I have a couple more, but I found, this is a, the fabric that I was talking about for the, um, <clears throat> a fisherman lives here with a catch of his life. How stinking awesome is that? I saw it, and I think I got, like, uh, a whole yard, maybe even two yards of this, I don't remember. What is this fabric called? Does it say on here? <laughs> it cuts it off. <laughs> called <laughs> something bait whatever but yeah I know my husband is gonna love this if I make whatever I make something out of it so that's why I was thinking a pillow because this is just really stinking cool fabric it's got um, trout and bass and other things those are the main ones that I know I'm trying I'm trying to be a good wife and learn <clears throat> also got some more gingham. I love gingham. Did I get any other? No, just those. Sorry. <coughs> I know the bags are annoying. Oh, I did. I thought I did. <laughs> I got black. This is black. And brown and blue. They are, or we're discontinuing this line because they're all the same. And um, my mother-in-law got the rest of this blue. But the brown is a fat quarter, the black's a fat quarter, and then I think this is like a skinny quarter. <laughs> it's that wide, but it's like, I think a yard long. Anyway. Yeah. She was telling me, and I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but instead of like always doing finishes where they're straight, 
Sorry, I know the camera's tweaking out because of the lighting. You can do it on... You can flip it. Sorry, I'll fold it. Makes it easier that way. <coughs> on the bias. You can finish. It's called on the bias. Where it's like diagonal. Sorry. <laughs> Having fun with the camera. Anyway. And I was like, you know what? That's amazing. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I swear, I can, you might think I know something, but just saying it a little differently, like, turns on a light. I'm a very, I pay a lot of attention to the literal, literally what people say, and how they say it, like, I pay attention to how people use their mouth, and, like, if they talk with, like, one side, or whatnot, I think I do, and now y'all are gonna pay attention more, but anywho... I got just a plain red, which is going to be for the, um, Let Freedom Ring. And then I saw this guy, and I was like, hey, that's cool. Oh, what? It's, it is gradient? See? Light to dark. Still wasn't sure about it, even though I, after I found that it was gradient, but it's still, I like it pretty much, or pretty well. And, um. And then the, this one. Love this one. It's called, um, does it say it on here? It says it's called Horseshoe Trail, but they were calling it Oh Texas, My Texas. Because it's, like, the texture of it is different than all the other ones. Like, this guy, it's different. Kind of looks like mount, like, s mountains. It's the only thing I can think of with snow on it. Um, <clears throat> but it's the red and the blue. If you were to add, which I don't have at the moment, white, it would be the Texas flag colors. So that's not what I got them for, but they're for any patriotic stuff that I have. But they're just so stinking pretty. But the threads, they um, shred a lot. Kind of annoying. Let's see, do I have anything else? That was from a while ago. Oh, yes. Oh, two more things. The only other fabric I got, I saw this guy. You can see, like, the, uh, it kind of looks like Fiddler's Cloth with the, um, like, texturing in it. But it's fat two quarters. So it's, like, two sizes of these guys. And I figured it'd be really good for backing um, stuff, making a pillow or something with, because it's just plain good, good plain fabric. Anyway, but what I also got, and they didn't have any red, so <laughs> I need some red felt. I got some felt from good old Wally World, made in the USA. Ha! It's not focusing. Anyway. <laughs> I got brown and gray and green for ornaments that I will one day finish. <laughs> and I'm in the um, Christmas in July exchange, so that's why I was saying on my previous video I couldn't show you some of my finishes because I'm ahead of the ball as far as stitching on those my um, exchange parts but I need to actually finish them <coughs> into something but I'm just it's it's exciting learning a new um, a new art with quilting or just sewing in general um, I can definitely sew a straight line I can press I can measure with the best of them. My dad is a carpenter, so he always made sure we could measure down to the 16th if we needed to of something. So I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for having that in kind of my my bones, but yeah, that's my stash that I've gotten. <laughs> and I'm sure I've missed a couple things that I've got since the last video, and <clears throat> I have some Jodry threads coming to me. 
and for the um, they're the Aurora, Aurora Borealis because I didn't have enough for the Neverland Clan. And I think I got a couple other colors that um, <coughs> I'm so sorry. I will use for other random things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how many more quilting videos I will have. Clearly I'm enjoying this spinning chair, but yes, when my mother-in-law gets back, I'm definitely going to finish that piece that's hanging on the wall over there, and I'm real happy with it. It's, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. I know the border is um, four inches, so that adds eight inches on both sides. Definitely have to pay attention. Uh, make sure you have a quarter inch seam allowance. Very, very important. <laughs> and uh, as with anything, measure twice before you cut. And um, yeah. Hope y'all have a great evening. I know Memorial Day is coming up soon. Please remember what the real reason is for. Um, and don't forget on Red Friday, wear your red. Remember every deployed, whether you be um, in the States or somewhere else. It's not just the U.S. that have people deployed that are friendly countries. Anyway, not wanting to get into politics. Hello. <laughs> uh, but just remember that the biggest thing is remember that every person you meet whether or you see whether it be somebody you know or somebody you're meeting for the first time remember that they're all going through a battle of their own whether they voice it or not so um, if someone has an attitude or seems off that day try not to take things into with too much seriousness um, if you think something's wrong ask they might just want a helping hand so that they know that um, someone cares enough to ask <laughs> what's wrong. Sorry, my cat is adorable <laughs> right here. Um, but yeah, just have a kind heart and a forgiving heart. <coughs> Obviously for my coughing. Sorry. Let me know if you have any questions. If, if I can't answer it, I'll have my mother-in-law try to answer it if it's a quilting question. Or if you have any other questions or comments, just let me know. I will reply to them as fast as I can. Thank you all and have a good night.